Hey my loves, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mums Ate, a YouTuber and makeup artist based in Worry Delta State, Nigeria. If you want to see how this soft glove was made, watch this video to the end. Let's get right in. I started off by applying my skin preps using a certain mix. I allowed it to dry and then I used my serum from the SNESS. I blended that also allow it to dry and then I move on to my moisturizer, apply that and also allow it to dry. For skin prep, you need each step to dry before you move to the other step for a long lasting effect. Moving on to primer to hold my makeup, protect my skin. And then I moved on to foundation. I'll be using the MAC NW45 and Mary Kay in 708. I actually mix both foundation together and I'll be blending with my hands because most times as beginners, we do not have brush to apply makeup. So of course, I'll be showing you the old traditional way of applying foundation. After applying your foundation, of course, you can use your hand to tap it, blend it, blend, blend, blend. Make sure that the excess is remaining on your hand. You can just apply it on the lower part of your neck you can see how blended this foundation is using just my hands and then of course it is important for you to buy or for you to get a beauty sponge also called a beauty blender this helps to just blend all your makeup and then i went in with my juvia's place concealer meanwhile this concealer i don't know every time i apply concealer i used to show as if it's too much but after blending it's not much probably it's the lighting that is making it look as if it's much see i'm done blending you can see that it's all just sinking to my face and then i went in with my setting mix from the hydro grip milk and then see how natural my face is looking without even a powder skin mask from my shoulder to my hand to my face without a powder and then I'll be using this Nigerian brown lipstick as my blush. Yes, because as beginners, most of you already have some products. I know you don't have a blush palette, so you can use your lipstick. So I apply that at the back of my hand, use my beauty sponge to take that product and I just blend. And then I'll be using a powder. This is Milani powder in the shade Warm. I'll be using that to set my concealer. It's important for you to set before baking, for you to set immediately after concealer application and then i'm going in with this light shade milani powder and i'll just use this shade to highlight all the areas that i applied concealer why i'll be going in with the second shade in milani deep i'll use that this is the milani deep i'll use that to apply on the other areas of my face if you remember very well after the blush my cheek was a little bit red but you can see that now that I applied a powder on top of the blush, it's no longer red. There's something about makeup. Don't be afraid to apply products, okay? Just try to blend. Even if you make any mistake at the beginning of the makeup, just blend. I'll be setting the face using Mirac Cosmetics. This setting powder is just nice. It's really nice. Before now, I was a fan of Laura Mencia, but... In fact, this setting powder and Beauty by AD and Nigerian Brown setting powder that is a must have for makeup artists or for personal use. So I'm just using this setting powder to further structure my face, the areas that are highlighted. And then I'm using this pencil. This brow pencil is the cheapest pencil in the whole wild world. This is one pencil that is affordable for every lady to buy, to have. And that's why I'm using it. That's why I'm not using a brow gel. Okay. So I just use the pencil to fill in my brows. I really don't have much hair in my brows. So what I do is I make sure I sharpen the pencil for the tip to be sharp. And then I just outline my brows. It makes it easier for application. I was done with my brows. I just use a shade brighter concealer to just blend my brows i don't want this video to be too long so i didn't really film that part of it but after blending with a concealer i decided to also apply that concealer on my eyelid because i'll be using this concealer as my eyeshadow base truth is that it is very okay for you to apply concealer on your eyelid and that was the concealer i used as highlight and then i'm using this my contour powder this is a powder it's a bronzer from the queen cover girl i'll be using that to what apply as my eyeshadow 
now you are seeing that it's very pigmented because i apply the concealer as my eye base before applying powder now if not that you are seeing this video you would think that i actually use eyeshadow no i only use powder the essence of this video according to the title of this video is a natural soft clam so i don't have any eyeshadow on my eyes i just basically use the powder that i use for setting my concealer the powder that i use for contour as eyeshadow so all you have in my eyes is just powder and you can see how beautiful it is next is this precise black pen eyeliner from a canada brand one of the pro package i received recently the brand name is d beauty you can check them out on instagram you can see how precise this eyeliner is in fact after fixing my lashes i went back to the eyeliner the tip is not just tiny the color is black like black is black then again i love the fact that it could go into tiny places okay so if you're looking for a easy nice pigmented eyeliner to buy please go check out dbt on instagram it is also very affordable it is important for you to have smaller blending brushes that you can use to blend powder under your eyes and then it's contouring time i'm using that cover gear bronzer powder that i use as eyeshadow see how pigmented the powder the cover gear bronzer powder is just see my nose contouring without using a foundation liquid contour okay see how well blended it is and then i went in with my lash powder brush from the vika bell a nigerian brown to just blend my entire look first i apply the liquid glue on my hands and i use a beauty blender to just blend it and then i use the eyeshadow palette as my blush because as beginners most people do not have blush so you can pick any eyeshadow color and apply as a blush and then i went in with my setting mist that i applied at the beginning of this makeup is a nigerian brand product called flawless hive and then i use a damp beauty blender to just blend it moving on to my lips i'll be using the d beauty matte lip stain it's a Canadian brand product and one of the PRO I recently received. And they are the ones that also have the eyeshadow palette that I use as my blush. It's something to check out. This brand, you should look out for their page on Instagram. And then I also went in with that same brand mascara to apply under my eyes. This mascara, oh my goodness, is really nice. I allowed my mascara to dry before going to my recent obsession. This So Pro Setting Seal It Miss. See, this is one of the best finishing spray you can find in recent times. See how I am glowing from the inside. Guys, skin prep is very important. Blending is very important, okay? I hope you enjoyed this video. Please remember to subscribe. Remember to like this video. Whenever you see my video, just like so that YouTube can push this content out for others and recommend my channel share my videos if you can on all social media platforms on instagram on whatsapp please copy my video share my video even on youtube here and comment down below what are your challenges what do you want me to help you fix in regards to makeup okay let me know what topic you want me to discuss is it about product reviews just let me know basically i am here for you okay i'll see you in my next video today stay blessed be happy smile after Bye, guys.